guys, so today I'm going to try my hand at my first ever tutorial. Okay, so please be kind because I'm very, very nervous and I don't know about the camera equipment and my editing is just... I'm trying, okay? I am trying. So this is for my beautiful double-sided V-stitch ear warmer. So the outside, obviously, the V-stitch. Then you've got the inside. And then we have a border. So it's nice and thick and warm and great for this weather especially. So if you're in, I know the US are having some trouble with the weather. And if you're here in the UK, we're going to hit be hit with snow bombs next week. And we've got Storm Brendan coming. And we also have a cyclone coming. So making it warm. <laughs> It is very warm. And you can see the red poking through. Well, I can. I'm not wearing my glasses. But I know that when you're holding it, you can. So, super snuggler. Dead easy to make. Tutorial. I'm not edited yet, but it is only going to be... It's going to be under 10 minutes. Under 10. You can't beat that, can you? And now I feel like I'm at a market store. Roll up, roll up. So, enjoy the pattern. Okay. Thank you. Don't forget to be kind. So, oh, before I forget, the inside part used 14 grams of yarn, the outside part used 18 grams of yarn, and the border only 3 grams of yarn. So, DK weight, give yourself a bit of wiggle room depending on your particular tension, but it really is using only scraps. So yeah, don't go breaking into new balls of yarn, use those scraps that you can't use up. <laughs> Now I'm really going to get onto the pattern. Bye! <laughs> the items that we're going to be using for today's tutorial is scissors to cut your yarn, a large eye yarn needle and a 4.5mm crochet hook. We're, we're only going to need scrap pieces of yarn. So here I have Marini Yarns Double Knit in light grey and the same brand in red. So we're going to use red for the inside part and the light grey for the outside and for the border. Now we're going to wet your slip knot. So do around, around, the back piece over the front piece and that piece that was the front right off the finger. Place your hook inside and pull. Now, we're going to chain 14 loosely. Now we're going to double crochet into the 14th, uh, fourth chain from the hook. So, I don't go into the V. I go into the spine, these bumps. I feel like it gives a much neater edge and then when you're sewing in the edges you can see what you're doing a lot more clearly. So one, two, three, four. So then we go with yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And we're going to do a double crochet all the way to the end. So there we have it. Now I have 12 stitches on the row. So for the next row, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to double crochet into each and every stitch along. So you skip that first one. Then we 
go into each of these because that first chain three is classed as the first double crochet. Right, so there's your next row. You're going to do each and every row exactly the same as that until you have 32 rows all together. So when you have those 32 rows, I'll come back. Right, I'm now back with the last couple of stitches on row 32. Just do these last two double crochets, this one and then one into chain three of the turning chain of the previous row. And there we have it, we have our 32 rows. So we're going to break the yarn. Leave yourself enough tail to sew the two ends together. So what I like to do is I like to lock my stitch in place. So you get your loop, the end, just pull it through, pull it tight. And now, I'm going to sew these ends together. So get your needle and thread it. And then, if you can see, we've got the Vs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this first turning chain we're going to go through the outside V, the outside leg, and then the outside leg of this one too. The outside leg. The outside leg. So we're going to go into the outside leg of both sides. all the way across. Once you've done that all the way across, what I like to do is just flip all the way around and go through them again and then through the loop to lock that into place. And then you're going to sew in the ends. This one also. And then cut those ends off. Now there we have the inside part of our air warmer. Alright guys, so now we're going to work on the V-stitch part, the outside of the air warmer. So, I've chained on 14 chains. And now we're going to do a V stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. So we've got one, two, three, four. So we're going to do double crochet, chain one, and double crochet all into that same stitch. And we're going to skip one and then do a V stitch in the next. So double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. 
So we're going to do that all the way along. Skip one, V stitch, skip one, V stitch, skip one, V stitch. And then in the final one, you're going to do one double crochet. So I'll see you back at the end of the row. Right, so here we have our first row. So we have the turning chain, which counts as our first double crochet. Then we have the row of V stitches in the skip ones. And then double crochet into the final chain. So now we're going to chain three and turn your work or turn your work and chain three, whichever way you prefer to do it. Right, so we're going to do V stitch into the chain one of the V stitch. So into that chain one space, we'll do double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And into every chain one space along. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way along. And then in the last turning chain, the chain three of the turning chain here, we're going to put one double crochet. So there we have our second row. Your double crochet and your V stitches. Now, you're going to copy that row for another 30 times. So we're going to have 32 rows all together. I'll come back to you when that's done. Right guys, I've just reached the end of my third second row. I've cut the yarn, leaving enough chain to sew the ends in. So I'm going to lock that stitch in place and I'm going to sew these two sides together. Just like we did on the last one. And then I'll come back. Right, so I've just sewn this together and I did forget to mention that you're going to have more stitches up at the top when you're sewing your ends in. So I was doing the outside, the outside, the outside, like the outside, like. But with this, with your last row, the 32nd row, I missed out the chain one, so I didn't stitch those ones in. And then I had the right row count to do that same sewing in technique. If you want to do a different technique, that's entirely up to you. But this is the way that I did mine. Right, so this is the outside piece done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the inside piece and put it inside this other piece. Just like that. That's going to look really nice when you're wearing it and then you can see the red through it. So because we did the same amount of rows on each one, we're going to put, and to make sure we align these up, so we've got the double crochet legs together, and then that's what we're going to go into. So we're going to use this light grey. And we're going to join, don't forget, get your legs together. So we're going to join with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one and we're going to do two single crochets into here. There we are. Then you're going to get the next two legs together. I'm going to do two single crochets into that one. next two legs together, two single crochets into that one. Next one, and two single crochets. Now we're going to do this all the way around until we get right back here. Right, so now I've done all the stitches into this first single crochet, I'm just going to do a slip stitch. So we're going to do this border on the next side. Remembering to keep 
it straight so we don't so we're not going to twist it all up. I'm going to keep it all straight. So I'll do this side and then I'll get back to you. So once you've done that second side and sewn in all the ends, then you are finished. Here's your beautiful double sided V stitch air warmer. And you can do it all the same colour, you can do it multiple of different colours, you can do it striped, you can do the border different. It's all up to you and it takes very little yarn. So for the inside of mine, the red part took 13 grams. My outside part, the V-stitch part took 18 grams and the border took only 3 grams of yarn. So, there we have it. Hope you enjoy this pattern. Please be kind, it's my first ever tutorial. And have fun making it. Have a great day guys. Bye.